Android 8.0 is finally here, and as you'd expect, there are a lot of new features and changes to familiarize yourself with. Although it may not be the most visually different update ever, there's still plenty to talk about. I'm Joe Marm with 9to5Google, and this is everything to keep an eye out for in Android 8.0. Starting off with more visible changes, notification dots will now appear next to app icons on your home screen and in your app drawer when you receive notification within that particular application. The color of these dots will change based on the color of the app icon they're next to, and just like with Android Nougat, holding down on an app will show you your app shortcuts. Doing this will reveal the fresh coat of pink the app shortcuts have received, and if the app you're holding onto has a notification dot next to it as well, you'll see any notifications within said app below the app shortcuts list. You can tap on the notification to jump right to it, or you can swipe to the left or right to dismiss the notification entirely. Also new with Android 8.0 is Picture in Picture. When you're in an app that supports this feature, pressing the home button while a video is playing will shrink the video down to the bottom right of your screen. You can move the video around the entire border of your display, and tapping on it will reveal numerous actions for controlling your playback, including play and pause, skipping to the next video in the playlist, and even turning off the video portion and only listening to the audio. The other big visual changes with Android 8.0 include a fresh coat of paint for the notification panel and the settings page. The notification panel still works just like it does in Android Nougat, but Google has adopted a much cleaner white background that I've actually come around to liking quite a bit. Things like the date and user icon have been moved around, but other than that, this is essentially the same notification panel that we've known for a while now. As for the settings page, this has seen a fairly larger update. Now, although all of the settings that you'd find in Android Nougat are still here, they're now laid out in a much simpler manner. For example, instead of having three separate tabs for Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and data usage, these are now all merged under a new tab called Network and Internet. The new layout does take some time to get used to, but at the end of the day, it's a much better way of handling everything than what previous versions of Android have been doing. In regards to other features in Android 8.0 that aren't quite as noticeable right off the bat, this latest update now allows you to snooze individual notifications. Slowly sliding a notification will reveal a new clock icon, and tapping on this will automatically snooze notifications from that particular application for one hour. From here, you can then choose to change the amount of time that you want to snooze those notifications or undo the action altogether. Also under the hood is an update to what Google is calling Vitals. Basically, the latest version of Android allows your phone to boot up two times faster than before, applications run better, and battery life is improved tremendously thanks to limits being set on how applications run in the background. Along with all this, there's also smart text selection that allows Android to be more contextually aware when highlighting certain text, the autofill API that allows for faster access to your email and passwords when logging into your apps and websites, and even persistent media notifications that have received a much needed fresh coat of paint. For an even deeper rundown on everything that's new in Android 8.0, check the link in the description below for the full guide that's on our website. I've been Joe Marin with 9to5Google, thanks for watching, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Have a fantastic day, and I'll see you in the next video.